Hi, my name is Craig Bashad and I am the electrical instructor. Today, I'm going to show you how to take this string and tie it to these THHN conductors and how to make a head to pull it through a conduit. We're going to make videos of setting up wire pulls and pulling wire through conduit, but today I'm going to show you how to tie this to these to make your life that much easier. We're gonna use what I call the half hitch method. I'm sure there's another way of doing it, but I call it my half hitch method. So when I tell my apprentices, hey, half hitch that on, this is what I expect them to do. The thing I have them do is take the string, bend the string, and loop it back over itself so it actually does this. Okay, let me see if I can make it so you get I'm just gonna take it like this and loop it down, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it back over itself to make it look something like this. I'm gonna take my wire and I'm gonna feed it through the loop. I'm gonna bring it down about a foot to a foot and a half from the end of the wire. And I'm gonna pull it tight. I'm going to take the loose end of the wire and I'm going to fold it back on the long wire end and I'm going to take my electrical tape and I'm going to tape it. I'm only going to put a couple wraps on it because all I need to do is hold that wire or that string in place. As long as the string stays in place, I'm going to use that as a leverage point. Okay, So I have my knot. I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to put a piece of tape on it. One, two, and I'm good. Okay. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wire And I'm going to take my string and I'm going to take it in my hand like so, twist it, and then I'm going to feed my wire through my hole and I'm going to drop it down on my THHN and I'm going to pull it tight. Okay? And then I'm going to do it again. And what it's going to do is, as I pull it, it's going to bind up. It's going to almost tighten on the, on, the, on the wire, okay? My end, I'm going to tape ahead so that these little pieces of THHN don't get stuck on any part of our pipe. If the connector coupling is not completely lined up and it's a little bit off, leaving these open, end, leaving these open ends will get caught on the wire. So I'm going to take my tape again. And I'm going to tape it. Tape my wire up. Leave an end, make a friend. Now it is nice and tight. I don't have to worry about it coming apart while I'm pulling my wire through my conduit. This was just a small video on how to tie a string to some wire so that you can make a wire pull. Now, there are a ton of different techniques you can use. You can use the half hitch method that I just showed you. You know, you could use the bunny loop uh, hook method like I've, I've used in the past. Um, but realistically, I, prefer, I personally, when I'm pulling THHN, I like to use this half hitch method. It just makes life that much easier and it's so much smaller when you're trying to you know, take a larger amount of wires. I mean, we just did three here for this demonstration, but you know, when you're pulling 15, 20, 30 wires at a time, you know, sometimes it becomes a pain in the butt. So my suggestion to you is, I hope you took something from this and you learned how to use the half hitch method in order to tie some you know, THHN or you know you can even use voice and data cable, you can use fire alarm cable, any other types of cables. Anytime you're trying to pull through a conduit, hell, I've even used it pulling it through a ceiling. 
You know, you make the head up, you clean those ends up, you make a nice little uh, pencil point on the end, tape it right up, and then yank it right through a ceiling, do what you need to do, throw it up in a J hook, do whatever. There is a ton of different ways you can do this. Every electrician you're gonna work with is gonna show you a different method. This is my method that I like to show my students, and I just wanna share it with you. With that being said, I hope you've at least done me a big favor and hit the thumbs up button to let me know that you know you enjoyed my video. Secondly, and I still can't understand why you haven't subscribed. If you've already subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. We're on our way to 700 subscribers, moving our way to 1,000. But if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I, I post videos every Friday, this being just one of them. Some are longer than others. I hope you enjoy it. Please do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, have a great day, and be safe.